but you just slide that in the slidey slidey hole. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wee wee. Oh, shredder. I never knew you were this kind of man. Oh, wee wee wee. I'm an idiot. This video and any other videos on this channel are not made for kids. Just get those wonderful toys. Good morning, collectors. Welcome back. It's me, your host, your friendly neighborhood Moscato Bot. And today we are finally taking a look at the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Use Ultimate Shredder from NECA Toys. And this guy was a bitch, a slut, a whore, a son of a whore, a motherfucker to track down. I could keep going. Fuck the distribution on these Walmart exclusive movie turtles. We got to do better. It needs to be better. Oh my god, it's so bad. I, I So uh, I didn't even find this guy in store, and I'm still looking for two for two of my buddies. Uh, one's from my local buddy and one's from another buddy that lives two hours away, and he actually made me this beautiful, awesome logo for my channel. I, I love it. Me as He-Man with all my childhood toys and me actually riding my Cringer cat. We're getting off here, but thank you, Chris, for this awesome logo. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to track you one down, buddy. I promise you, it is my top priority. I will find you a shredder. I promise you I will, dude. And if you find it, I'll just send you over the cash, because that's what we do. Anyways, quick shout out to my buddy Cosmic Crit at Adam Overboard. Bro, thank you so much. Hashtag CHC for the win. Cost plus shipping, that's the CHC way. Bro, without you, I would not have received this awesome figure for this review. You know, a lot of people know how hard he is to find right now. And uh, just thanks, man. Awesome, awesome dude. Here is the packaging for the Ultimate Shredder from Secret of the Ooze. And it's just kind of bland. I, I don't really, they could, I feel like they could have done something cooler, something better. I think a photo shot of the character from the movie, like a movie still with Shredder would have been awesome. Like if they did the babies, the babies scene, like, that would have been cooler for me, I think, or him holding the little vial of ooze or him holding the canister of ooze. Anything could have been better. You know, this is just a photo shot of the toy with his face blacked out. We have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 logo, Secret of the Ooze, Ultimate Shredder right there, Nickelodeon at the top left there. Turning him over here to the side, we have a photo shot of the figure here, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, all that jazz, NECA, real toys. I do like the purple NECA logo right there. I'm gonna have to snag me that logo for thumbnails and whatnot. Turning it over here to the back, we can see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, Ultimate Shredder, and there is Shredder, product shots of the figure, looking great. You can see um, my box is very, very banged up, but I don't care because uh, judging by how hard this guy is to get, who knows when I would see him myself in store. So I'm, I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with how this, you know, I, I have him. He's mine. And plus, I play with my toys. Like I said, I'm going to open this guy. But there is all the product shots. Includes spear, katana, sheath, flowers, mutagen canister, ooze vial, and alternate hands. Over here to the other side of the packaging. We have a product shot of Shredder. Nickelodeon there at the top. And again, logos, all that jazz, NECA, real toys. Here's the top of the box. Nickelodeon, logo, warning, don't put it in your holes. You will die ages 14 and up. It's on the box, people. Bottom of the box, all the beautiful people at NECA Toys that made this figure possible. Thank you for making this figure possible. I love you, NECA Toys. You know I do, and I am a fan. You guys know I'm a crazy fanboy of NECA Toys. I'm happy because Walmart is like two minutes from my house and I can check every day. If I need to go to Target, at least for me, I gotta be driving almost an hour away to go hit a Target, one Target, and I'm usually shit out of luck when I get there because there's nothing ever there. So I'm happy for me and this is my opinion. For me, at Walmart, I, I get more of a chance to snag these movie turtles. However, NECA just put them on the goddamn site. Put them on the NECA store. Make them uh, to pre-order from your NECA store before they even before you even think about putting them at Walmart's, at Targets. This is for all the turtle stuff. This is your big money maker. Let me help you. Listen to me. 
Put this shit on your website for us to order. You will get our money. Uh, the, the shipping does suck. It's like $15 shipping on top of per figure. And it takes forever. You guys need to work out something better there. I, I get it. This is the best way right now that you guys keep saying for us to get these figures. It needs to be better. It's time for a change, okay? We love you and we're grateful. Believe me, we're grateful. But we're getting sick of this shit at the same time too, you know? Like, I, I shouldn't have to waste all this gas, reach out, all this crazy stuff to try and get one of your figures. Put it on the website, let us order it, make sure it's ready to ship when you guys put it on the website. I don't wanna order something and then wait six to seven months for it to come in. We are tired of this. We are in the new age. It's 2022, people. We want our toys now. So take your time making them. But when they're ready, put them on the website, make sure people can have enough to order. Bam, we get our things within a week. Yeah, I'll wait two weeks. But waiting seven months for these figures is insane. And I'm grateful that you're giving us the chance, but please, please, and believe me, this is coming from a place of love. I want you guys to thrive. I want you guys to succeed. You are my passion and I love you so much, but we gotta do better with the distribution. We got to do better. Thank you. Rant over. I, I don't even consider that a rant. I'm just telling you out of a place of love. Give us these toys. Make it easier for us. Please. Look, yeah, there we go. There is a window product shot of Shredder in the box and he looks glorious. Let's get this guy out of the packaging. Here is Shredder out of the packaging and he is just beautiful. I love the Secret of the Ooze look of this Shredder. I, I love the purple. I really, really love the purple and it's more cartoony, if you will, compared to the first Shredder. Uh, but I, I, I do love this look. I love the first Shredder more, I think. I, I hold on, let's just, I, I gotta do this now. I, I have to see it. I never do this. I never start with just a comparison, but okay. Man, let's just, hold on, let's let's get this done right if we're gonna do it. If you're gonna do it, Mo, get, oh my God. God, these guys are beautiful. Hold on, before I get into anything, did you ever think when we were kids we were actually gonna get movie accurate shredders like this? Good Lord. This is why I love NECA toys so much, man. They just... God, that likeness, their sculpts. Mmm. Mmm, you make me a happy, happy boy. But man, look at these two monsters right here. Which one do you like better? Honestly, let me know in the comments down below. Please, which one of these shredders do you like better? Uh, I like the purple look. I really do, but... This one's more menacing to me. That's... That's my shredder. But I love you too, man. It's, it's kind of like my love... For the movies, if you, you know what I mean. Uh, Turtles 1 just holds up. It's a damn good movie. Turtles 2, though, as a kid, like, as a kid, I was like, nothing will beat this one. Turtles 2 is the best. It's so funny, and Kino's there, and blah, blah, blah. And I still love it as an adult. It's like a comfort movie. Me and my wife, we put it on for, like, bedtime all the time. But watching this as an adult, like, whenever it's on, I have to watch it all the way through. It's just like, it's, this is in my top five favorite movies of all time, TMNT 1990. But this is like my childhood movie that's like, oh, my childhood, you know? Um, both look great. Out of the park here with these two guys. I guess we're doing a comparison right off the bat because this happens on my channel, you guys. It's, it's literally me just geeking out over toys with you guys, you know? This is like, if you were all in my room together and we were just looking at my collection or talking toys, we'd go off on tangents like this because it's just, it's beautiful and I love it. So it, I, this is what I love, it's my passion, dude. You can see TMNT1 Shredder's cape compared to TMNT2 Shredder's cape. This one has the wiring, it's more, I, I guess, bigger, if you will, <laughs> I mean, and they're about the same size, but this one's definitely the heavier material and has the wiring going all the way through each line of the capes. And it's got that tiger stripe action going on. This is more of, I don't know what the hell, kind of spirally, I don't know, they kind of look like chili peppers, if you will, going on here. So, uh, definitely like the first cape better, plus you can unclip that. You can unclip this one here, um, and there's no wire in the back, which, you know, kind of blows. It would have been kind of cool to, for poses and pictures to get some wiring done better but obviously you can see just from this that the two helmets are completely 
different. We'll definitely get a close-up of all that stuff, but just by looking, you can see the two different helmets, how this is more serrated and more like a buzzsaw, if you will, where the first is kind of like neat and clean like a can opener. I'll bet I never asked to look for a can opener. <laughs> Another thing I definitely noticed is TMNT 1990 Shorter comes with his like little um, fist razor blade guard thing here. And the Secret of the Use Shredder does not come with any type of weapon like that. Maybe they toned it down because they're like, okay, we got to make it a little more cartoony, kid-friendlier. You know, maybe take off some of the knives and whatnot. <laughs> um, but yeah, this definitely, this helmet looks more like, you know, armor, samurai armor, where this is like, look, we're taking this shit and we're amping it up because it's the sequel. And we're going to fucking give him saws all over his face. And, you know, that it's cool all over the helmet, I mean. It's cool, but... I don't know this looks more realistic and menacing or this looks more cartoony now I did remove the visors obviously of both shredders and you can see the two different actors that portrayed shredder in both movies 1990 uh, secret of the ooze and I, I definitely think this guy looks more menacing than this dude here uh, you can see though he's definitely got that battle damage from the first movie even though it's two different actors but uh, you can see more of the scarring and whatnot on his face. Obviously, he's got his, he's gritting his teeth and he looks angry and pissed off. Where this one just looks like intimidating and serious. Like he shows no emotion, and that's what fucking just terrifies me about the 1990 Shredder. Where this one was more grunty and get them cartoony shredder you guys know what i'm talking about right here that scene where he like stares at tatsu and even tatsu's like mr shredder i'm so sorry please like that scene is even every time i watch it i tense up he's so menacing in that first movie i mean i still wouldn't want to fight this guy but you guys get what i mean the the two different portrayals of shredder from the first movie to the second movie more realistic more cartoony Still, both actors did a great job. I love that they got the same voice actor from the first movie to still portray Shredder in both films. And the likeness is just fantastic overall. Here are the two visors that are removable. Little peg holes right there that you can just kind of clip on in the face. Um, I did notice that part twos is a little bit harder to get on than the uh, part one Shredder. But it's the same mechanism, same, I mean, these are exactly the same. So the 1990 Shredder definitely has more sparkly, glittery uh, paint, if you will. Um, more like a maroon crimson look going on here and then you can see the purple and it's not as sparkly it's more textured I mean you can see it's got a little bit of that I, I it's really all texturing to where this guy is one shiny 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 sparkly guy compared to this dude so the looks still kind of there but obviously not as glittery as the 1990. I really want to go in depth. I know we've just been focusing on a comparison right now, but that's what I want to do. Show you guys the difference between the 1990 and the Secret of the Ooze Shredder because they are completely different, literally two different actors. So I want to get in depth with this review here. That all being said, I think we've really compared everything. I mean, the 1990 Shredder does come with his signature weapon, spear weapon that he fought the turtles with. Uh, and this guy just comes with a bunch of weapons that he never used in the movie because he never uses a weapon, but he does have this javelin spear thing. I mean, it's pretty cool. Nothing too crazy. I guess if you want to use it for pictures and poses or whatnot. I mean, we play with our toys, so it's fun to use our imagination when they give us stuff that he didn't actually have in the movie, but it's a cool weapon, you know. Um, what else does he come with here? He also comes with a sword and sheath. This is like a generic sword that the uh, foot get which is fine. And the sheath, of course. I mean, it's painted nice. It's cool. Nothing I'm gonna go shit my pants over, you know. Uh, of course, he does come with the TGRI canister. Not so long as I possess this. Whoa, the green stuff. Hand it over, Shredder. I have like, what, four of these now? TGRI ones? And I think we're getting another one in the uh, accessory set for Secret of the Ooze, which I cannot wait to get my Secret of the Ooze VHS four pack. And the accessory set that I ordered, what, uh, three months ago? Four months ago? Uh, we're waiting, and yet the two packs are showing up in stores. Again, another distribution thing. Like, is that a way for us to double dip, NECA? It's gonna work. If I find them in store, I'm gonna buy them for myself because they're there, and I wouldn't mind having an extra set for the alternate heads that come with the accessory set. Maybe put Donnie up with the mop and the apron and whatnot, but like, jeez, man. 
Again, work on the distribution. God, because we want our toys now. We want them now. But another TGRI canister. And I've already put it in the alternate hand, but you can see it is the dandelion, the mutated dandelion. Dandelions. That Freddy brings to Shredder. Really cool. I almost want to call it a Randy Lion. See, see what I did there? Randy Lion. Credit to my wife. She came up with that joke and I thought it was hilarious. But there's the Randy Lion. I'll cover her with this. Ah, the last vial of ooze. He must have drank all of it. And there it is. The last vial of ooze. I already put it in the gripping hand to kind of show you guys how it fits in there. But you just slide that in the slidey slidey hole. There we go. I mean, it fits in pretty good. Awesome. Do not lose this. I could see us all losing this vial of ooze, but it's a cool little accessory. That's, this is what makes Super Shredder, man. Oh God, do we got to compare Super Shredder? Well, this video is going to be long as fuck. We get some open palm hands, same kind of open palm, like, you know, get them type of deal or, you know, Shredder's all fancy. Now he doesn't come with a hand to actually hold the TGRI canister. So I guess you could kind of just set that in there like that. And if you move him too far, I mean, or whatever, he'll, it'll definitely fall out, but still pretty cool. I wish we had one that could kind of grip it like this. Those are all the accessories that come with the Secret of the Ooze Shredder. Now for the figure's articulation, the arms can go out that far. Of course, the shoulder piece here is going to hinder that. Out that far, back in, can rotate all the way around, but the shoulder piece there, obviously, like I said, is going to make it do a little, little uh slant there slant is the word i'm looking for head can look side to side about that far some hindrance of course with the helmet and the shoulder pads can look down about that far again down that far and up that far that's about as far as you're gonna get with that guy there uh we do have a waist swivel no diaphragm joint at all you cannot go that way but he does kind of get a little bit of tilt action there not much not much at all in fact i maybe i wouldn't even consider it tilt action because it just goes right back up a little, a little bit nothing too crazy going on there double jointed elbows but they only come to about 90 i would say even with that double joint because that ain't moving on me anywhere and then we do get of course that bicep swivel there we do get the uh do we get a wrist rotation here think we do yes we do we do I don't like doing that though because all these little thingies and I know one day I'll just bend it and I'll break it because these are they are tight but flimsy just like my grandma <laughs> I'm not in our will and then go ahead we got the rotation here at the wrist and they are on a hinge but this hinge does not want to there we go we got it and it came out so you guys see, we did get it to go, didn't break. And we'll just go ahead and pop that in, like so. Um, I'm curious, does this come off? It does. You guys can take that off and you can see we got some strappings right there. We can go ahead and put that back on, like so. Slide it back in, be careful not to break any straps or blades. And then we just go ahead and plug that in like so. Ooh, you hear that little soothing click. Rotates all the way around, and again, it is on a hinge. Now for the legs, you guys, I'm really disappointed because we still have this ratchet system going on. This ratchet system scares the shit out of me. I do not like this system. I like that newer ball joint system that can't, comes with actually most of the newer figures today. Uh, for example, quick example, you guys, here we have the 40th anniversary Ash from Evil Dead. You can see, this is a lot better, it moves a lot better, you're not going to run into any risk of breaking the figure here, and I just, I do not know why we're still using this for the turtles, like, something, something new, please, I, I, we have something new, this is on a lot of the newer figures, this is so much safer and just better looking to me than this, because I, I just, it scares me, you know, one wrong move and it could break, and... I don't want that to happen because I love my toys. 
but you guys can see definitely a comparison of the ratchet system and the ball joint system and the ball joints newer and it's the way to go NECA anyways we do get a full-on splits here which is great I'll go ahead and shut that close your legs man we do get that upper thigh swivel right there and we have double jointed knees you can see right here and, ooh yeah like so you can come out that far very nicely done we do have rotation here at the knee and go back up there and now for the foot, the foot right here we can go down up and we got that ankle pivot really nice and it can go all the way around if you want it to I don't know why you'd want it to but it can legs can kick back really far and forward really far definitely the amount of articulation that you want for this shredder and taking a closer look at shredder just so we can get all that detail he's very nicely sculpted loving this the helmet does look great all my razors are intact I know a buddy of mine Mikey uh, his at the tip here was kind of busted shit if you will um, it was barely noticeable, but like we notice it because we're crazy and we're all like, you know, inspecting our toys at every angle. Like even here you can see, like I noticed I got some markings right here. I don't know if that's supposed to, you know, be part of the paint. I mean, this is actually made out of all junk and stuff because Shredder was in the garbage, but you can see there just some markings. I don't think that's supposed to be there. Not a big deal, but like I noticed this stuff and I want to go in depth on this review, but you can see the paneling is very nicely done on the helmet right till it gets to the tip there here I'm missing some paint on mine right there you can tell that's not a big deal going down here and you can see that kind of chain mail at the top there but I do like the kind of buzzsaw look shoulder pads look nice cape looks nice just attaches under here we cannot clip this off um, I am missing some paint right in there it's not a big deal but you can actually see like his chest. I wish that was just another little layer of the same purple, which I could probably fix that myself. It's not a big deal. And I'm not gonna be looking at the figure under here, but I do wanna show that, you know, I am missing some paint there. You can see on this side, a little bit there too, unless that's how it's supposed to be. But I, I, don't, I don't see why that couldn't just be painted all the way in there for better effect, but Anyways, sculpting does look nice. Going down here, we do have that elastic kind of belt. You guys can see there, it's actual cloth. Yeah, just like mama's G-string. All right, I'm weird. Uh, the belt here piece, a little flimsy plastic. Be careful with that, but it's on there. I've seen a few of them come with this has been off. Uh, other than that, like the shin guards look great. The blades look great. You know, don't want to be dropping him or anything. I feel like if you drop this and you hit it wrong, this could break off. So just be careful with that for those of you that actually do have this guy. But no, cape design looks great. Let's look at his ass a little bit here. Lift that over. Very well done. Nicely painted. Little paint here on the straps, the silver. Very cool. Just a little in-depth look at the paint apps on him. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this one more time open that up a little bit kind of get that to go from the side there we go we can get a closer look at his face there's a scar from splinter and all these i believe are new from that battle on the rooftop in the first movie those are the pegs right there right there you just kind of go back in it's kind of a pain yeah this one is a lot harder for me than the uh, 1991 to get back on. But there we go. And just kind of mess with it a little bit till it goes on. And voila, we have it back on. A little bit of a pain to put that back on and off, but what are you going to do? And to swap the hands, really simple. We should all know this. Go ahead and rotate that. But just grab at the base of the hand and pops right out peg hole back in very nicely done satisfying click oh yeah go ahead and mess with some of his accessories just slide that right in the hole 
so easy to do. And there we go, he's holding the dandelion. Wow, nice. And that's how you change out the hands. We should all know how to do that, but I like to show you guys on the video nonetheless. He looks fantastic. And for some quick comparisons, you guys, of course we have to show this shredder with Toka and Razar. God, I, NECA has knocked it out of the park. I know everyone says that shit, but it's so true. These guys look so incredible together, and I can't believe it's taken us a whole year since we've had these dudes to finally get a Secret of the Use regular Shredder to put next to them, and god damn do they look glorious. Here's Shredder next to Danny Pennington. Not even in Turtles 2, but I mean, let's face it, we don't have a lot of Secret of the Use figures. Here's Shredder next to some foot soldiers. Very nice. Let's throw some beasties up there. Here we have Shredder next to the Kessler Wolf from NECA Toys. And let's throw in Gnaw the Sharktacon from the Transformers movie. One of my favorite figures in my entire collection. I love this Defender's Ming. I love the colors, everything about this guy. I would like to get the Phantom and the Flash from the Defenders, and then I'd probably just be good with those two. But, uh, yeah, I don't need the whole Defenders line. I've never seen the show. I actually, uh, have the show on DVD right here. Pretty cool. From the Stern Pinball Collection, we have the Variant Cartoon Shredder. Looking really cool. And we'll throw in Donatello from the Toon Line. This is from the Disguise Pack. The matte finish, which I love. So you guys can see some Toon Turtles. What everyone wanted to see in Turtles 2. And said so we got Toka and Razar, but there is Cartoon, Bebop, and Rocksteady. Really awesome to have these dudes. One of my favorite figures in my collection. He's a big boy. Let's see if we can get him on there. We got Goliath. And we have Bronx. My only two gargoyles that I have. Really behind on the gargoyles line. My one and only Mezco, Christopher Reeves Superman. Love this figure. God, it's so well done. And for good measure, we'll throw up the NECA. My Batman, 1989 Keaton. Oh yeah, come on Flash, give me the Flash movie. Compared to some Black Series figures, here he is with Ahsoka Tano. And Empire Strikes Back, Boba Fett. Compared to some Marvel Legends, here he is with the Apocalypse build figure Wolverine. And the new Amazing Fantasy with that sh that came from that shitty packaging. There he is with the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man. I love this figure so much. Do not miss out on this guy. It's the first appearance of Spider-Man. And he's glorious. Just look at that. Ooh, that's a team up right there. Wolvie and Spidey gotta work with the Shredder. I'd watch it. There's some Marvel Legends. Some Funko Pops for comparison. Thought it was fitting for the Turtles. Here's Super Shredder Vintage next to regular Shredder. So you guys can kind of see how far we've come. If you'll stand, you little punk. Wow, how the years... And he's right here. We'll throw up the Kenner Batman. Look at that. 30 years ago to now, man. All right, you guys, we've gone over the packaging, the accessories, the comparisons. A lot of comparisons in this one. A lot of figures to show off with this guy. Uh, the articulation. Let's get to my favorite part of my videos, the showcase. Here we go.
guys, that's gonna go ahead and do it for this review video, and I would say this guy's out there, go and get him, but, uh, is he, though? I mean, yes, technically, he's out there. Good luck finding him, is what I should say. Good luck finding him. Now, fortunately for me, CHC, the best community in the world on Twitter, love you guys, they came through for me, as usual, you guys. CHC, hashtag CHC, collectors helping collectors on Twitter. Follow us, you guys, follow me, follow Bonzies, follow all these amazing dudes. We will help you get your toys, cost and shipping. That's it. We're not scalpers. We are the ones paying our own gas. We are paying for the packaging. We just want to help each other get these toys and keep them out of scalpers' hands. You know, no tips or anything like that necessary. Just, that's, that's bothering me. There we go. That was off center, my my OCD. But uh, seriously, you guys, it's the way we're gonna beat scalpers, dude. You know, CHC. Check us out on Twitter. But that's gonna do it for this video, you guys. So thank you all so much for watching. Till all our one Moscato bots, you all stay classy. If you guys like the video, please hit that thumbs up. It really helps out. And subscribe. Don't forget, play with your toys. I will see you all in the next one. Moscato bots, roll out.